A common combination of partial differential equations and fluid mechanics is known as the divergence of the vector field. Let's define a vector f that has an x component of p, a y component called q, and a z component called r. If f were a velocity vector, then the x component would be u, q would be little v, and r would be w. If we define our vector in this way, then the divergence of the vector f is found by taking the partial derivative of the x component p with respect to x, the partial deri derivative of the y component q with respect to y, and the partial derivative of the z component r with respect to z. Now notice a couple of things. p is the x component of f. So this is the same as saying partial of f sub x with, re with regards to x. q is the y component of f. So this would be the same as saying partial of f sub y with respect to y. And r is the z component of f. So this would be partial of f sub c with regards to c. Now we've seen this combination before using the del operator. So in terms of the del operator, the divergence of vector f can be expressed as del dot f because we are taking and applying the del operator partial with respect to xi, partial with respect to yj, and partial with respect to zk. And we're applying this operator into my f vector, pi, qj, and rk. If you were to imagine these were vectors, and you were to take the dot product of these two vectors, you'll find that the final result is that the divergence of vector f is equal to this times this, so partial p with respect to x, this times this, so partial q with respect to y, and this term times this term, so partial r with respect to z. Obviously, they're not really vectors, so you're not really multiplying these two terms, but you are applying this operator into this term. Therefore, the divergence of a vector can also be expressed in terms of the del operator as del dot the vector. Now, let's recall the velocity of a fluid in vector form. We've already defined the velocity of a fluid element as the x component, also known as u, the y component also known as little v, and the z component also known as w. The divergence of the velocity vector would be divergence of v equals del dot v. And since we already know how to apply the del operator into the velocity field, we would get the partial derivative of u with respect to x plus the partial derivative of little v with respect to y, plus the partial derivative of w with respect to z. So this is the divergence. It's actually, a, there's more to this topic than what we can cover in this class, but for fluid mechanics, I think this is about a good introduction for you to use this in following lessons.